Hello everyone, welcome to What's New in Red Hat Smart Management with Satellite 6.8. I'm John Spinks, Technical Marketing Manager for Smart Management and Insights. Smart Management may be a newer term for some of you, so I wanted to take a moment and address what Smart Management is and what it includes. Smart Management for Red Hat Enterprise Linux combines the capabilities of satellite with the simplicity of management from the cloud and helps to improve overall operational efficiency by 28% according to a recent IDC study. Red Hat Satellite helps to patch, provision, report, and control your rail hosts. And paired with Red Hat Insights, Smart Management helps to both identify issues via cloud.redhat.com and remediate them. We'll talk more about this later as we move into what's new with Satellite. Many people are already familiar with Satellite, but in order to get Satellite, you purchase a Smart Management subscription. When you purchase a Smart Management subscription, it includes Satellite as well as Cloud Connector. This has been the case since 2018. Cloud Connector is the newer feature that's included with Smart Management. We'll start with Cloud Connector, then move on to what's new in Satellite. Cloud Connector enables push-button remediation of the issues that you find with Red Hat Insights from cloud.redhat.com. In case you're not familiar, let's talk about what Insights is for a moment. Insights can help you proactively detect issues, deeply analyze configurations, gain visibility into the security and compliance posture, and prescribe remediations. Red Hat Insights also enables internal policies to be defined and monitored, as well as comparing systems against baselines historical system status, and other systems to manage complexity and expedite troubleshooting. Provided as software as a service, Red Hat Insights delivers Red Hat's expertise when and where you need it with ongoing analysis. Insights was previously a single service, but it's now expanded to include a family of services. These new services help you with key use cases which are operational efficiency and security and compliance risk management. Here's a quick overview of each of the services now included with Insights. Advisor highlights availability, performance, and stability risks based on recommendations from our support experiences. Vulnerability assesses, remediates, and reports on Red Hat Enterprise Linux common vulnerabilities and exposures. Compliance assesses and monitors regulatory compliance and is built on OpenSCAP, which is an open source implementation of the SCAP standard. Drift enables you to create baselines and compare system profiles either to the baselines or to other systems. Policies lets you define and monitor against your own policies to identify any misalignment such as needing to be sure that all systems have a firewall enabled or disk encryption software is installed. Patch analyzes your systems for Red Hat product advisory applicability to help you stay up to date. And while not directly a part of Insights, all Red Hat Enterprise Linux customers also have convenient access to Subscription Watch to help you track progress of your Red Hat subscription usage efficiently and confidently. So you can see that Insights now provides an expanded set of analytics that helps you identify a variety of risks across your environments. And to reiterate, all Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscriptions include Red Hat Insights. This is true for any supported version of RHEL that has access to the Red Hat Insights client, typically RHEL 6.4 and above. Steering us back to Cloud Connector, by itself, when Insights finds issues in your environment, it can generate a playbook to help you fix it. However, if you only have Insights, it's up to you to download the playbook and figure out how to run it. With Smart Management, you can use Cloud Connector to create a WebSocket between your satellite and cloud.redhat.com. This enables an Execute Playbook button that will send the playbook from Insights to your satellite-connected hosts. 
there's a blog and a video that walks you through this setup process that you can watch if you're interested. The cloud connector setup is initiated through satellite and satellite 6.7 or above is required. Your basic satellite environment might look like this, where you have hosts in your on-premise data center connected to a capsule that's in turn connected to a satellite. Connecting hosts to capsules then capsules to satellite is our best practice recommendation. And your smart management subscription includes up to 50 of any combination of satellite and capsules. You may even have additional hosts as well as a capsule and a cloud provider such as AWS, Azure, Google, or IBM Cloud. A more complex environment might even have multiple satellites, perhaps one satellite for production and a second for test and development purposes. And you may even have additional hosts, either on-premise, in the cloud, or at the edge, that are not connected to the satellite. This could be a development environment that's spinning up, running for a few days or weeks, then being destroyed in favor of new systems. All of these systems can be connected to Insights. All you need is to be running Red Hat Enterprise Linux. By default, Insights connections for satellite are routed through satellite port 443. If you have systems that are not connected to a satellite, they're directly connected to Insights by default, but they can also be configured to use a web proxy. For the satellite connected systems, you can easily add Cloud Connector from the satellite server. Multiple satellites are supported, and configuring Cloud Connector enables the Execute Playbook button inside the Insights Remediation Service. When a user creates a remediation plan, they can click the Execute Playbook button, and the playbook is sent to the satellite, onto the capsules, and executed via Ansible Remote Execution. Hosts that are not connected through the satellite can only use the Download Playbook button. For these hosts, you'll need to download the playbook and manually run it. Smart Management, Satellite, and Cloud Connector helps you to simplify remediation from Insights. And in a scenario like this, Insights gives you a federated view of all of your connected systems from a single place. In all this talk about Cloud Connector, we mentioned satellite quite a few times. Satellite's the most well-known component of smart management and is a scalable platform to manage patching, provisioning, and subscription management of your Red Hat infrastructure. If you look closely at the coat of arms on the left side of the screen, you'll notice on the base of that is content management. Content management is central to what Satellite does. It downloads, gets the content close to your environment, and curates it so you can do interesting things with it, like provisioning, patching, and subscription management. Earlier this year, Red Hat commissioned an updated study of the return on investment for Red Hat Satellite. The results speak for themselves. Over five years, the return on investment is estimated to be 416% with a six-month payback period. This doesn't include all of the extra value that we just talked about with Cloud Connector as part of smart management. If you're interested to learn more, go to redhat.com slash business-value-satellite. Now let's cover the features of Satellite 6.8. The theme for 6.8 is focus on satellite and capsule upgrade improvements, expanded provisioning options, and IPv6 support. Keep in mind that satellite and capsule servers still need to be installed on a host running RHEL 7. Satellite does not yet support running on RHEL 8. Let's go into a little bit more detail on these features. Satellite 6.8 includes quite a bit of work on improving the upgrade process for this and future releases. To help make it easier to upgrade your satellite footprint, we added the ability to independently upgrade satellite and capsule servers so you don't have to do everything in a single maintenance window. We also added upgrade automation for capsules so you can upgrade a fleet of capsules through remote execution inside of Satellite. We also updated the process on capsules to use the same Satellite Maintain process that the Satellite servers use, and we updated the Foreman Maintain package to be self-updating whenever you run the Satellite Upgrade or Upgrade Check commands. 
All of these changes will help to make satellite upgrades easier and more reliable. For satellite provisioning, we added support for HTTP UEFI, as well as a couple more features for Azure around improvements to the compute resources to allow for additional volumes or network interfaces during provisioning, as well as support for Azure custom images. Satellite 6.8 offers IPv6 support, including content and remote execution, container management, and provisioning. You can install and use satellite and capsules that have only IPv6 networks. Satellite 6.8 includes support for the Satellite Ansible collection, which is known in the upstream as the Foreman Ansible modules. These will be available as part of the Satellite Collection and the Ansible Automation Hub, or via RPM on the Satellite Server in the Ansible-Collection-RedHat-Satellite repository. There are also a couple additional improvements specific to RHEL management. Satellite can execute LEAP or LEAP, depending on how you'd like to pronounce it, processes for hosts that are being upgraded from RHEL 7 to RHEL 8. And the Catello Traces feature, which was introduced as Tech Preview in Satellite 6.3, has moved into fully supported status, and it will let you know if a reboot of a system is needed. Common Access Card support was introduced in Tech Preview in Satellite 6.7, and in Satellite 6.8, we're moving Common Access Card support to the fully supported status and added in a few extra features as well. 6.8 also includes a number of under-the-hood technology updates. Ansible was updated to version 2.9, Puppet Server to 6.9.2, and the Puppet Agent to 6.13. PostgreSQL was also updated to version 12. And there are a lot of small performance, scalability, and usability improvements in Satellite 6.8. For performance and scalability, we upgraded Dynflow Workers Daemon, which controls job scheduling and processing. For usability, we added an opt-in email notification of subscription expiration, a tasks cleanup button, which can clean up all hung, paused, pending, and failed tasks. We made improvements in the Insights Inventory plugin, and we improved the Cloud Connector setup and task handling. So now that you've learned a lot about all of these great new features, what should you do? Hopefully, you're excited about one or more of these features and you're ready to upgrade to the latest smart management release. With Satellite 6.8 releasing, version 6.5 goes end of life and will no longer be supported. We have a number of smart management resources available. I'd also like to point out the Insights Webinar Library. A Cloud Connector webinar is planned for the end of October as part of this series, and you can also watch the existing Cloud Connector video on how to set up and use it. And even though Satellite is part of your Smart Management subscription, there are a ton of Satellite-specific resources that we wanted to include as well. If you're new to Smart Management and Satellite, you might want to check out RH053, which is a technical overview of Satellite, whereas more experienced Satellite users may want to look into the Satellite Administration course, RH403. Be sure to check out the Satellite blog for the latest news and information. That's what's new in Smart Management with Satellite 6.8. Thank you very much for taking the time to learn more about the latest release of Smart Management.